Um, Chicago, I got a British story up today. A Cook County judge threw out 18 convictions of men who had drugs planted on them by a rogue band of Chicago police officers. Wow. Uh, that means 42 people thus far have been exonerated in cases tied to former Sergeant Ronald Watts, his decade of fabricated charges. Now, uh, Ronald Watts, black cop, straight up thug, straight up thug. OK, that's exactly what he is. Uh, and they say he ran a unit uh, that was filled with folks who were shaking down drug dealers. Uh, they were stealing money from them as well. The department knew it for years. Mm. And some of the people who were in this unit are still on the Chicago police force. And you know what? We've heard nothing from Candace Owens. <laughs> We've heard nothing from Sheriff David Clark. We've heard nothing from uh, a Candace's boss, Charlie Kirk. Isn't it interesting, all these Blue Lives Matter people are very quiet about thug cops like this, but they, they always say, you know, it's a few bad apples, but the apples are still on the police force. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that, to me, this story is a perfect example where I keep trying to explain to people who don't understand Chicago. You cannot trust a police department when you have multiple thugs with badges and guns. Yeah. Absolutely. Nobody's going to sit here and trust the police officers. Yep. Absolutely not. Especially this thug. Doesn't sound, like, doesn't sound like training day. Uh, no, man, listen, I got to put these on all y'all. Sounds like training day. No, no. <laughs> Ch day Chicago, Chicago <laughs> makes the Rampart Division of the LAPD <laughs> look like Sesame Street. <laughs> listen, it makes Baltimore's MMA division you know, look like Sesame Street. Wow. You know, the thing is this, you know, with situations like this, you got to get these cops convicted. And I think you could, you know, I hate to say it, put them in GP. Put them in general population. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, you got, but you, just the, 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 the heavy hand of justice has to come down on cops like this. And then, but the second part, after the conviction, when the civil farm, when a civil case comes about, you got to hit them in a pension. Police, yeah. the, the police union's got to start paying for this. On, the only way you change this is, first of all, you make them pay for their own defense. Exactly. Yes. And yes, you take pensions. You take That's the, the only you way. That's the, the only way.